and welcome to the Cranky Old Gamer. Uh, today is a very special unboxing. Uh, I am giddy right now. That, that's the only word I can uh, describe. Uh, you'll, you'll notice there's a giant empty hole in my shelf that I've just made room. Um, this is my Black Friday purchase. Uh, this has been my holy grail of games for a while, but it's because it's very expensive. Uh, normally, it's about seventy-five to a hundred dollars, and it was on sale. Cool stuff, Inc. Love those guys right down the street from me, here in Orlando. Best friendly local gaming store ever. Uh, they had it on sale for fifty dollars. The others, ah oh, yes. Oh, I'm so excited. Uh, it is no secret that I love uh, overblown, overproduced, miniature-heavy games, especially anything with Eric Lang's name on it. Um, probably uh, my whole collection behind me, probably my favorite game in my whole collection is Zombicide Black Plague. Love it. We've played that so many times. I've painted most of my miniatures, uh, and oh... Oh, I can't wait to paint these. Uh, so this is going to be my unboxing. Uh, look at the size of this box. Oh, it's just enormous. Oh. All right, so we're going to read the back here. The sins that once tormented our souls are poised to consume the entire world. All that stands against this nightmare is faith. We must fight fire with fire and pray the flames of corruption don't engulf us all. Uh, the Others is a horror board game for two to five players, while one player controls the nightmarish forces of sin, trying to consume the ancient city of Haven. The rest control the agents of faith, a paranormal organization employing unorthodox heroes to stand against the monstrous invasion. The sin forces of both pride and sloth contained in this box, as well as three different types of acolytes, each bring a completely different challenge to the hero players, as they face the apocalypse across seven different stories with unique maps. <sighs> Yay! Uh, so as I said, this, as it describes, this comes with Pride and Sloth, uh, and I've already seen uh, the boxes for, remember my seven deadly sins, um, Wrath, Gluttony, Lust, Greed. I was not a Catholic. Sorry. Uh, who am I forgetting? I'll put it up on the screen. And every, I, get, I guarantee my whole audience is going, you're forgetting this one, Cranky. Yeah, so anyway. Um, oh, I'm so excited. Uh, I just, just look. Look at some of those miniatures. Make sure that's in the camera shot. Oh, look at all those miniatures. Oh, it's a big smile. Oh, big smile. Let's crack into it, shall we? All right, here we are. The box, gorgeous artwork. Oof, so nice. Gone ahead and gotten us started here. Oh, I'm so excited. Funny thing is, as much as I love games like this, I actually don't own many. Um, Zombicide is really it for miniature heavy games. Uh, the next, like, must-have on my list after this was going to be Blood Rage. Uh, I just, I gotta see what all the hype is about. Come on, slide open. There we go. And off she comes. Alright, so... Oh my god, I can see the miniatures. Oh. Look, oh, he's right in there. We're gonna set him free. All right, so much like Zombicide, huge, thick, gorgeous, full color rule book. Um, sexy art here. Uh, what else do we got? Ooh, look at that guy. Um, I like the art book, very cool, or the artwork of the book, very cool. Got layouts, awesome. We'll revisit that later. I cannot wait to do a review on this. Uh, can you tell I'm excited? Okay, oh, okay, so what do we got here? 
Um, everything's kind of stuck together. Um, there we are. All right. So we have lots and lots of tokens. Not a lot, actually. Um, looks like some question marks. Uh, these look like some kind of city. Uh, faith icon. Um, there's only one of those. I'm guessing that's the first player token. Uh, all kinds of them. They kind of look like street signs. We'll see. Um, more question marks. Police, post office, uh, Mr. Robot, uh, satellite, subway, um, and something with tentacles. All right. So there's that. Uh, what do we have here? Oh, okay. These are your map layouts, I guess. Uh, oh, they're the different stories. Okay. So these are how to lay out each map. Uh, Into the Breach, a redemption story. Uh, very good, thick, uh, like thick, floppy cardboard, like slightly heavier than cardstock. Uh, the Beast We Become, a corruption story. Haven in Flames, a terror story. Battleground of Souls, a redemption story. The Darkness Within, a corruption story. And Haven's Last Stand, a terror story. All right, very, very cool. Oh, let's, let's, let's just get this out of the way. Oh my God, it's enormous. Look at this. Oh, he's so big. I'm sorry if it sounds like I'm making this sexual. I, I really am turned on. Oh, he's taped. That's why. Okay. Um. Come on. Come out and see us, you big, beautiful bastard. Look at that thing. Look at it. That beast is enormous. Like, will it zoom in? I'll have to get some good shots later. Um, with my more H the more HD and oh, he's got a butt. Boop. He's got all kinds of stuff going on. He's got tentacles he's got arms he's got suckers oh he's enormous all right moving on moving on uh we're gonna we're gonna put him back in his little hole for safekeeping buddy i am gonna paint the shit out of you Mystery boxes. All right, first, got a deck of cards here. Hellfire Mutation. I don't know what these mean. Um, I'm actually not going to open the cards for now. Because uh, the only thing I don't like about Eric Lang games and, like, Zombicide has these little tiny itty-bitty cards. I hate these. They're so hard to keep together. But that's okay. Everybody knows, one of my favorite things, custom dice. Look at all that. Oh, I don't know what those symbols mean, but they're cool. We got, what do we have? Uh, well, here, we'll take them out and show you. If I can get them out of the damn package. Come on, there we go. So these, I'm guessing, are the good guy dice, because they have good guy things on them. All right, so we have... The Brotherhood of Steel, a fist, um, okay, Black Rage, um, the all-seeing eye of the Illuminati, a shield of some sort, what else, is that everything? Um, and 
The no tentacle version of Ghostbusters. Oh, okay, we have two fists. There's one fist, two fist, red fist, blue fist. Um, all right. So that's those dice. And I'm guessing the other dice belong to Mr. Bad Guy, whoever gets to play. Uh, one of the things that's exciting is this is a one versus many game. Uh, one player, I like one, I like one versus many games. Uh, one player plays the sin while the rest of the players play a people fighting the sin. It's kind of like in Fury of Dracula, how I like playing Dracula. All right, what do we got? Super Punchy Fist. Not so super punchy fist. Blank. Not so super punchy fist. Tentacle goodness. And more tentacle goodness. Okay. So it looks like a rotation of tentacle fist, tentacle fist, um, blank, and super fist. Tentacle fist, tentacle fist. Sounds like a good Saturday. Oh, never mind. I'm going <clears> to... <throat> <clears throat> Moving on. Family-friendly show. All right. When did I agree to a family-friendly show? What am I talking about? Who wants to see what's in the mystery boxes? I know I do. And I know they're miniatures. All right. This looks like our heroes. Cool. All right. Got some cool look. I like this guy. He's got this giant blade. Um, some Neo wannabe with guns. Chick with sword. And looks like a sniper. And holy crap, there's a werewolf. And a demon. And some kind of steampunk guy with a Gears of War gun. And a 50s diner waitress with robotic tentacles coming out of her elbows. I'm not kidding. That guy's awesome. He's a werewolf. Yes. Let's see. Can I... Will it zoom in? And... No. All right. But she seriously got robotic tentacles coming out of her elbows. She should probably see a doctor. Uh, and here we have the bases for the various characters. All right, so all that's going back in. Next, we have the big box O-minis. Not really sure I like how this is packaged, honestly. Like, it's awesome for getting started. Like, this is, so the anticipation of the box is great. But once I actually start storing these, I kind of prefer Zombicide their uh, storage, but oh, there's a lot of stuff. Oh, there's a lot of minis. You know what? I'm going to slide this to the side. Okay, so here we have lots of acolytes. Looks like two of each different kind. No, four of each different kind. No, it looks like it very... No, it's two of each different kind. Okay. But they're just various people covered in tentacles. Um, hang on. Well, that doesn't really help because brown on a brown background, but at least you can see all of them. And then beneath them... Oh, my God! Look at this thing. Look at the size of these minis. Like... I have big hands. Like, I'm almost afraid to paint them because I'll screw it up. I'm okay at painting, but I'm not this good, you know? Then again, hey, I may or may not have backed Kingdom Death Monster. And Lord knows I am not good enough to paint those. Oh, that's so cool. And there's... Six of this thing. Uh, what else do we have? Oh, I, I'm sorry. There's two with its mouth open, two with its mouth partially clothed, 
It closed and then all the way closed with the tongue sticking out. Come on, focus, focus, camera. Ah, so that's that. We have a BDSM abomination, like an abomination from um, Zombicide, only chains and a ball gag. All right. I'm on board with that. And what horror thing isn't com is complete without two creepy midget twins in bondage gear? Like seriously, they have O-rings on their back. That's that is up my alley. Pardon me, citizens. I have I'm, I'm too busy reading to terrify you. Um, I'll kill you in a moment when I'm done with this chapter. Uh, gaunt creepy guy. And, ooh, is this a, this is totally not a Cenobite. I don't know what you're talking about. This, see, this couldn't be a Cenobite because he's holding a ball instead of a box. That's totally a Cenobite. By the way, kids, if you don't know what a Cenobite is, go watch Hellraiser, please. And that's, yeah, that's a lady Cenobite. And that's just when predators become strippers. And then various shambling piles of tentacles. Look, he's got a tentacle on top going, hi, mom. Oh my God, I'm so excited. I have no idea. Like, the, the tone of my voice here and the words that I am using do not properly convey how excited I am. I can't. I've already texted my gaming friends going, oh, we're having a game night right quick. All right, so let's go back to where we were. Oh, these came in there. Um, these are, I believe, life tokens. I know that's what they look like. All I know is there's a ton of them. And they're little hearts. They're either life tokens or this game is based on Valentine's Day. I don't think that's the case. Oh man, there's still all kinds of crap in here. Um, oh, okay. I've seen on Amazon a corruption pack that replaces the, the corruption tokens. These are the corruption tokens. They're better than I thought. Um, it's just a tiny little pile of tentacles. Uh, the Corruption Pack is actually a tentacle like this big. It's, it's kind of awesome. All right, so what's next? Um, player Boards. Apocalypse Track. Let me get into here. What's an unboxing if you don't unbox everything, right? I will say, this was not my only uh, Black Friday purchase, just my biggest. Uh, I did have a couple other games that you'll see unboxings for. All right, so what do we have here? First, oh, that's weird. Okay. Um, the Apocalypse Track. I don't know what that means. Uh, number one, reveal Apocalypse card. Number two, Sin Player may summon an additional monster. Number three, reveal an Apocalypse card. Oh, so Mr. Sin, whoever's playing the Sin, gets more powerful each time. Um, Pride, Abomination, Controller, and Avatar. Yeah, dropping stuff. Cool, so that's that controller is the dude reading the book. Okay, so he's reading the book to, to control the Avatar, I bet. All right. Uh, Sloth, Abomination, Controller, and Avatar. And, oh, you bet your butt I'm going to be buying all seven sins. All right, what do we have here? Carl as Wolf. And it's blank on the... Well, not blank, but it's not nothing on the back. All right. Um, oh, they have names. Excellent. I mean, I knew they would, but... Uh, we have Leah. We have Morgana. How goth. 
Thorley, Rocco. Oh, I bet you he speaks with a dirty British accent. Very Jason Statham. We have Brad. He's the shooter. We have Rose, the fixer. And I guess they're not robot tentacles. They're just tentacles. She is an awesome little goth girl. That's fantastic. And we have... Oh, there's Carl. Okay, so there's seven characters. There's just eight miniatures because Carl becomes a werewolf. All right. Oh, okay. There we go. Werewolf Carl. Human Carl. Werewolf Carl. All right. Moving on. Because, man, we're already at, like... 17 minutes just in the unboxing. That's not counting my intro. Uh, these are your, going to be your city street tiles. Let me get these open here. Um, interestingly, much smaller and more compact than uh, Zombicide, which has its tiles are like this big. So I like my. Fine, just go anywhere. I see how it is. I like modular games where you can make your own scenarios. Uh, oh, they're not double-sided. Oh. Zombicide tiles are double-sided. You can use them anyway. These all just have a city on the back. But that's cool. Um, they all look like building interiors. I'm sure I'll figure out what this means when I actually play the game. Now, my question to you, how can you not love a game that has a corrupted hobo? <laughs> I love the corrupted doctor. He just looks, like, he looks so much friendlier than my own doctor. Like, he's just, hi, buddy, how's it going? Yeah, we're going to take your blood pressure and then eviscerate you. Um, and hey, corrupted nun, because what game about sin would be complete without a corrupted religious figure? All right, what do we got? This is... Empty cardboard tubing, and I think these are empty as well. Yep, these are empty. These are just spacer. Okay. So there we have it. We just take a look at this guy one more time because he's so pretty oh god I cannot wait to play this all right I think these one on the bottom but that's okay All right, guys, uh, I hope you're as excited as I am. Uh, be on the lookout soon for a review video, and uh, maybe I might even do a gameplay video uh, if I can get the camera set up for it. But this has been The Others. It is no longer The Others Seven Sins. I guess they dropped the subtitle part of it. It is just The Others uh, by Eric Lang and put out by Cool Mini or Not. I hope you've enjoyed this unboxing and really appreciated the components as much as I have. I am so excited for this game. You have no idea. Uh, so, all right, guys. Uh, don't forget, I do have other videos. You can check out some of my other unboxing videos. You can check out some of my reviews. They're not all indie games. I do like big games, too. Um, yeah, check me out. And also, if you like my channel, please uh, support me on Patreon, even if it's just a couple of dollars a month. You know, $5 a month from you is less than the cost of a sandwich. For me, it's, you know, adding up to a much better channel, better equipment, and things like that. So, uh, yeah, the, the address for my Patreon will be, there'll be a link at the uh, end of the video. In the meantime, check out my Instagram, The Cranky Old Gamer. I post all kinds of pictures. Oh, you bet I'm going to post pictures of this. Oh, my God, you have no idea. Um, uh, any kind of games that I play when I have game nights, uh, pictures of whatever I can think of. Uh, check us out. And yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this.
We'll see you later.